sure you can see. Okay, make sure you're comfortable. All right, are you comfortable and relaxed? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will start the timer in a bit uh, for about two minutes. So we want to do like 30 to 40 breaths all the way in, and then you just let go. When you let go of your breath, you don't have to force anything out, just, just relax. Okay, you ready? Yeah. And let's go. So breathe all the way in as much as you can. And just let go. And try not to hold your breath. So you breathe all the way in. All the way in. And let go. And breathe all the way in again. And let go. And all the way in. And let go. And all the way in. At some point you might feel a bit lightheaded, but nothing funny is going to happen. It's just your body charging with oxygen. And all the way in. And let go. And all the way in. We have one minute remaining, so just keep going. All the way in. And let go. And all the way in. And let go. Keep going a couple of more breaths. We have about 30 seconds remaining. All the way in. And go. And all the way in. And let go. All right, we do two more breaths. So all the way in. And let go. And then the last one, all the way in. And now you let go. And after you let go without oxygen, oxygen in your lungs, you try to relax. Just try to feel what's happening, relax. You don't need oxygen. You have charged your body with oxygen. CO2 is... Uh, out of your body, just relax, try to feel all the sensations that's happening in your body right now. And when you feel like I don't like this anymore, <laughs> I need to breathe, you just breathe in all the way and you hold it for 10, 15 seconds and then you let go. But otherwise, just keep relaxing. You're doing very well. All the way in, hold it for 10, 15 seconds. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, and breathe out.
Are you still doing breath retention? Mm-hmm. You want me to hold it at the top still? Yeah. Did you already breathe in all the way? Uh-huh. For 15 seconds you hold it. Mm-hmm. And then when you let go, just let me know. All right. <laughs> you were doing breath retention for all the time? No, I was holding it for, I don't know how long I made it, but I felt like it was forever. Sorry, it was? I said I held the breath out for a while, mm -hmm. which I felt like was forever. Yeah. And then I had to take a breath. And then was I yeah. hold it at the top? Yeah, I hold it at the top for 10, 15 seconds uh -huh. and then let go. Okay. So then. But you, you did that just before you put up your thumb? I, yes. So I had held the breath and then I had to breathe in and then I held it for 10, 15 seconds and then I let it out. Yeah, at the top. Yeah. yeah. Because then <laughs> it looked like you were doing it for like, about two and a half minutes, <laughs> which is quite long. <laughs> no, I feel like it was, <laughs> it was probably under a minute. Okay, head. because like, like I, at some point I wasn't sure <laughs> if you were done or not, <laughs> or if you were still uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to. <laughs> is that one cycle, or is that just you know working your way up? Yeah, that, like that's like that's one cycle. So after you, like you just. Uh, hold your breath or do breath retention and then at some point you just can't hold it any longer then you breathe in all the way and then at the top you hold for 10-15 seconds mm -hmm. and then after 10-15 seconds you breathe out and that's like one uh, one cycle okay and how many cycles and like, do you recommend like I would recommend trying to like maybe we can do one more okay. uh, round now, but when, like for me, it's a bit difficult to see when you're uh, done and breathing in all the way. Maybe you can just lift up your hand or your thumb okay. when you're when you can't hold it any longer when you breathe in all the way, so that I know like how long you're able to to hold your or to do breath retention. Okay. Okay, let's do one more round of two minutes uh, breathing all the way in and out. Okay. And then when you feel like uh, the urge to breathe, you breathe in all the way. Let me know when you are, when you can't hold it any longer so that I stop the timer. Okay. And mm -hmm. then you hold it for 10, 15 seconds and then you breathe out and then that's one session. Okay. Then we can talk again. Okay. <laughs> okay. We will start with two minutes again in three, two, one. And go. Breathe in all the way. And out. Breathe in all the way. And just let go. And breathe in all the way. And let go. Breathe in all the way. And let go. And breathe in. And out. So with breathing out, you don't have to force anything, only with breathing in, you want to fill your lungs as, as much as possible. Okay, well, one minute of breathing remaining. Okay. 
and breathe in all the way. And let go. Breathe in all the way. And let go. Thirty seconds remaining. And breathe in. And let go. And all the way in. And let go. You will do two more breaths. Breathe in all the way. And let go. And breathe in all the way one more time. And let go. And stop. So now you really want to try to relax, try not to panic. I mean, it's all fine. You don't have to break a world record or anything. Just relax. It's all about the sensations. Just lift up your hand when you're about to breathe in. Try to find a quiet place. All right, nice. Breathe all the way in. Hold it at the top for 10, 15 seconds. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and breathe out. So we're now at one minute, uh, 10, 11. For how long I held it? Would you like to? Uh, one minute, 11 seconds. Wow. It's still crazy if you think about like without long, uh, any oxygen in your lungs. Right. So if you would do this, like, like I followed the uh, videos a couple of times, especially in the beginning. But at some point, it's good to find what works for you. So what I'm doing now, instead of two minutes, I'm just for myself, I'm counting breaths. Like if I do three, three sets of breaths in a row, the first time I do it, I do 30 breaths. So I'm just counting every time I'm breathing in until 30. Then with the breath retention, and then the, next, the second round I do 35, and the third round I do 40 breaths, and then like every time you you hold your breath or breath retention, you you notice you can do it longer and longer because your your body is um yeah like charging with oxygen quicker and quicker, and like at a point you can just sit and you, it feels really weird because you have the feeling that like in 10 seconds you will need to breathe, but then you don't have to breathe. And it's really, I find it really peaceful. Like, you know, you just sit there and listen to any sounds around you or you try to feel what's happening in your body. So I like to do this three times in the morning. At one point I have done nine times in a row. <laughs> Wow. And it was crazy. It was, I mean, like when you reach the 130 or even further, really weird things are happening and like electricity through my face and through my hands and legs. That's what can happen after like 
more or less one and a half minute. Wow. And it's also really relaxing. Like if you need to do something and you may be a bit stressed about it, don't do it driving, by the way. <laughs> because, uh, or, or in a swimming pool or anything, like make sure you're in a safe place. But maybe you can also do it in an office chair or something and you just uh, do one, one round and it just calms your mind. Like even if you don't do one and a half minutes of breath retention, you're just somehow meditating for a minute and it's so peaceful because you don't even have to breathe you just sit there and uh, have, uh yeah really helpful and then this breathing together with cold showers and ice bath <laughs> um those two if you combine it it's having huge uh, health benefits uh i'm i'm gonna keep the the ice shower in the back of my mind it's 30 degrees here now yeah, yeah. <laughs> more cold sounds miserable but um when i did it it did feel good i mean how else can you not it feels refreshing so this was really good i think it's a practice that maybe will be my meditate my meditation in the morning um when you do the third you know, three cycles that you mentioned how long does it generally take for you like uh, one one like 15 minutes more or less like one round takes five minutes, like two minutes uh, breathing more or less, maybe maybe two and a half minutes. And then like at maybe the last, the third round, I maybe hold it sometimes for two, two and a half minutes, sometimes three minutes. So like about around five minutes, the first round will be shorter, the second round probably a little bit longer, the third round a little bit longer again. So like, if you do this, if you do all of them in a row, it will take 15 minutes. And if you ever do the cold showers again, if you do this breathing under the shower, so you breathe in all the way and you let go, you warm, you heat the, the muscle, like the muscles around your lungs, and that's really good to keep your body warm. So you might try that uh, next time if you want to do, do that cold shower. Okay. But with the cold shower, what you can do, you don't have to start to do like cold shower all the way. You can maybe do it a bit less cold <laughs> and start there and then slowly, slowly make it colder. You don't have to right away. Rip the bandaid off. Like here, the water is, uh, is even the cold water is quite comfortable. But in the Netherlands, the cold water out of the taps is also really cold. So. I know the difference and it really feels like as if you throw ice water yeah. over you, but like breathing it uh, really helps. Okay. Awesome. Well, that was so really good. I, I enjoyed that. Well, it'll be something that I'll, I'll probably work on every morning and I'll let you know my progress. Like if you, like it's also depends if maybe yesterday in the evening you had a hard workout, probably your muscles still need quite some oxygen but if you're really relaxed like uh if you're doing the work uh like you have this the seven day rest so like when you before you start the work that morning if you do breath retention probably you can hold a bit longer that's also why it's best to do it first thing in the morning because you haven't done anything you're relaxed mm -hmm. and it's easy to, to get to one and a half minute so um, let, let me know if you when you're able to reach one and a half minute and what you feel okay i will i will that was um i was really impressed that i got to a minute and 10 seconds or whatever yeah like you feel okay uh, after 10 minutes i'm probably <laughs> yeah for, for breath but um yeah it's like it feels really weird. It's somehow as if you feel oxygen or energy coming from your body instead of coming from your lungs, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Well, that was, no, it was really good. I appreciate that. Um, I wore the appropriate shirt too. You just don't have me. Uh, yeah, I saw it. I really <laughs> like the shirt. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for doing this with me. I will send you the recording so you can have it and edit it and do whatever you need with it. But I just appreciate you 
allowing me to be a guinea pig. Okay, great. I want so like this. I want to make it a big thing here in Malawi, even with the ice baths in, at some point, and see how. Yeah, I just want to help a lot of people with this. I think when you're stressed, and you do even one session of five minutes, it can uh, really help, like to calm your mind, especially when you when you're sitting there without breathing and you just feel what's happening in your body, just listening to what's around you. Mm -hmm. You just don't think about all the things that that are happening uh, for the rest of the day. Yeah. No, that's awesome. I could see that being a really great way to end a workout too, you know, for the classes that you teach. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like after a workout, you won't be able to do one and a half minutes because of the, yeah, well, your, your muscles meet depleted. a lot of oxygen. Yeah. But indeed, it's it's also nice after the workout there. Yeah. yeah. No, that's great. All right. I wouldn't I I, I would recommend. I need to get my kids ready for school. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, thank you. Have, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll send you this recording once it's downloaded. Okay, great. Have a good uh, day and a weekend. <laughs> yeah, I will. You too. Um, thank you again. I really appreciate it. That was great. All right. Okay. Thanks for joining uh, okay. the session. <laughs> yeah, you bet. All right, Jaron. Have a good one.